And today we're going to uh, change the right rear regulator on a 2008 Pontiac Grand Prix. Um, cheap aftermarket part put on about a year ago. Cable snap, go figure. So I got a GM original part. I'm going to put on there today. All right, first thing we're going to do is sell some plastic tool. You can use a flathead screwdriver if you want. And remove this little cover. Just get in there, pry it up enough to get a hold of it. These tabs get brittle, so you gotta be careful how you get that off. And inside here, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter screws. Pop it up, it's got snaps all the way around. Pull out the little cover, two little spring clips, that's all that holds it in. Then this is straight up. Once you got it all, uh, let it snap all the way around, straight up. Get that right out of there. And uh, ordinarily, you'd unplug it from the motor, uh, from the switch, but I already had unplugged it because I didn't want somebody accidentally putting it down and not be able to get it back up. Next thing you got to do is remove the vapor barrier. I use a, a knife to separate the adhesive. Then, you want to unplug the motor and squeeze this tab. And, and unplug it. If you can't get it, you might need to code. There we go. Just stop. All right, unplug it. Get your 10 millimeter again. Take his bottom bolt all the way out. This one, all you gotta do is loosen it. This one over here. You got another one up here behind. This tape that you got to just loosen. Up behind this tape, there's another one of these keyway things. So you just kind of, you'll take the, the regulator and slide it up and then pull it out. But before you do that, we have to detach. We have to detach the glass from the regulator. Um, so, uh, first screw is located right in this hole. Easy access. Get your cut right in that hole. See that screw in there? Right in there. Loosen that up. And we'll pull out this cardboard and we'll push the window down and access the other screw down from below, down here. All right, so I'm gonna pull out, I got my hand under there to support the glass, and pull out this cardboard that I had wedged in there. All right, we'll just push this down. 
So I can match this. Come on over here. You see this other screw? That's the second one. All right, right there. Loosen that up. It opens up these little rubber jaws that hold the glass in. Just like that. Now we'll slide that glass back up. And wedge it back in. Or you can tape it. Whatever your choice. Alright. Just to get it out of the way. Now since we've loosened these bolts and took this one out, Theoretically, all we have to do is lift up and bring it out the hole. And we can see where it failed. It was a little plastic tab that held that. It's just like this. It broke out of the top. And then these things lost their tension and popped out of their retention spot. Uh, all right put it in is the opposite get a hold of it it's going to go in there like that so just stick your hand in there slide it back in there You go just like that it's sitting in there it apparently doesn't come with the screw that holds the bottom so good thing we saved it just get that started just some hand tight action on that for now um now getting the glass in here, it comes all the way down, uh, which can make it difficult to, to get access to the screws. So uh, we'll raise it up just a little smidge. I'll have to plug it in and, and get that going up a little bit. So plug in your motor. Plug in your switch, because it won't work not plugged in. Alright, have me the phone with it still recording? Alright. Alright, have a have, have your helper go uh, turn on the phone the uh, the car sorry and uh, bump the, the switch up a little bit. That's enough for now. Okay. All right, so we'll push this down. We'll take this cardboard out. Let that glass go down. Keeping it in its track. We'll line it up at the bottom there. Get it in where it goes. All right, so we got it down in there on both sides. All right. Just snug, you don't want to get it too tight and bust your glass. And we'll raise it up some more. Uh, Go on, uh, raise it up, please. Keep going. Are you going slow or is it not? Turn the car on so it has more power. All right. Keep going all the way. All the way to the top. All right, come down just a little bit. That's it. Up just a snitch. Perfect. Right there. All right, turn it off. Trying to get it stuck up. Looks like it wants to keep on 
Hold on, let's add that before we lose. Alright, nice and snug. And then we'll tighten up these other nuts. Looks like they uh, had blue Loctite on the threads uh, already from the, from the factory. Alright, now next thing is going to put on the vapor barrier again. These little, uh, little bumps are locating tabs, so you just kind of locate that one there. Locate this one up here. Press them around. Get all that urethane seated again. Grab your door panel. This little lip in here, this little metal rail is going to ride on over here. Got that? So I'll plug it in. <clears throat> Feed your latch rod to your hole. <clears throat> Like it's on, we start snapping it around. Click on that easy. Get on the cover. See this little hole here and this hole here. They line up with these. And snap it in. We have to replace our two screws. Nice and snug. It doesn't, you don't have to crank down on it. Hanging on it, snap it in nice and good. Now we'll uh, we'll test it and see how it works. I'll go around the uh, start. I got it. All right, so that does it. Uh, 2008 Pontiac Grand P right rear. Uh, door regulator and uh, lifter motor replaced took 10 or, 10 or 15 minutes to do uh, parts matter uh, I went with the uh, GM original equipment this time I paid the premium because uh, a year ago I put in the cheap aftermarket and well it failed so uh, thanks a lot for watching